Welcome everyone to the Pantheon of M. I am your host, Ray, and today we're looking at the final episodes of Season 1 of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, it takes place after the events of Winter Soldier, so really it's Hydra has revealed themselves and they've destroyed S.H.I.E.L.D. from within. Uh, with the idea of that oh, to the world that Nick Fury has died and Coulson's been dead for the past year now, uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. is literally no more. Uh, Agent Talbot, who's been appointed by the World Council, has been instructed to root out at all levels of government, including Shield, uh, any cells of Hydra that exist. And as and to do that, he shut down Shield. But Coulson and his team, who are still unresolved with the Clairvoyant, are going out uh, with one last mission to try and solve the mystery of who the Clairvoyant is. And this is where we are: uh, the aftermath of Winter Soldier and all. All the deceit and all the uh, secrets and lies, are, all the cards are now put on the table. And within the next couple episodes, uh, until we get to the climactic ending, all the secrets are now revealed of who the clairvoyant is and and how uh, Agent Carter, Agent Carter, Agent Coulson has come back from the dead. It's all revealed in these episodes, and it's quite an intense and exciting part because it's now um, it's a chase from the hand or the arm of the government which is which is represented by Talbot and trying to solve the mystery of the clairvoyant and Coulson's resurrection so this is a great tie-in a great summary of all those themes and ideas that come full ahead in these final episodes and coming from an area of chaos and deceit and lies to facing the, all the painful truths uh, this is a wonderful a, I think five or six episodes that uh, Josh Whedon, Josh and Jed Whedon uh, and uh, Jed's wife who are the creative uh, team uh, behind the series has really put together and uh, with cameos of Samuel L. Jackson and Colby Smulders playing Maria Hill and Nick Fury respectively uh, this is an exciting uh, uh, conclusion to season one. Season one of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D episodes 18 to 22 yes. uh the significance of this is because it takes place after right after the events of winter soldier so it is the the culmination of um of hydra resurfacing to uh, in in shield or within the mcu as a whole mm -hmm. and this, this follows the aftermath right up until i'm going to say right up until age of ultron which uh we won't go into anytime but like this is just the afterthoughts, like what happened a day after the Triskelion collapsed and the shield basically became no more. It's a deconstruction of right. shield. Uh, so your initial thoughts of this part of the series. Okay. Well, there's, uh, oh, I liked it. Um, there's a lot of action and stuff, but there's also a lot of um, uh, psychology, mm -hmm. you know, in that, like they kind of um, de- construct everybody's personality and they're like going what what's going on mm -hmm. you know so they have to figure out what um uh each each person is doing mm -hmm. and why they're doing it yeah you know like this whole colson thing you know everybody's you know people aren't telling um like the truth they have their own agenda and stuff i found it was interesting you know yeah. definitely Mm. You know, yeah, no, you're right. It's happened. Right. There's a great deal of um, how do I say? There's a great deal of mistrust, and that's the that's the overriding theme. Like you don't know who to trust in this entire final like five episodes. You know, you're right. uh, this portrayal, everyone's lying. You know, everybody's lying to something. It's well, yeah. Not everybody. Uh, major players in this in this series are lying to each other at some point. You know, yeah. whether it's Sky to Ward, whether it's Ward to the team, whether it's made to like Coulson, and there's a distrust, and there's a, there's a seat of dissent. And with, within within S.H.I.E.L.D. itself, with the surviving members of S.H.I.E.L.D., mm -hmm. and, and and the consequences of those who would be like Agent Hand and, and what have you, which I thought yeah. that was uh, brilliant. The day one we started the review of uh, Agent of the S.H.I.E.L.D., uh, Reyna, who is like a woman in, in a floral dress. I mean, her character will lead you into a deep rabbit hole of storytelling. Right. Um, and the idea of the clairvoyant, which gets revealed in this one, mm -hmm. and and then what, and, and the fate of a clairvoyant gets revealed in this one, too. But Reyna, who, uh, play, who's played by uh, Ruth Negra, who's, who's mm -hmm. Irish, and has an, a brilliant array of accents from um, 
Preacher to yeah. uh, the Lovings uh, movie. Uh, like it's just she's an amazing actress, and you know, and you don't kind of like Kate Blanchett. You don't know what you're getting. She's a brilliant actress. Thank true, you. True. Yeah, a lot going on. Interesting. You want more? Mm-hmm. I like this. I like this um, season of it. I thought it was really good. And I was shocked at the end, but hey, which is good, you know, it kind of makes you want to watch more and see who done it or whatever. Anyway, I liked it. I, it was it was good for me, enjoyable. Ward's journey and his backstory gets revealed in here quite a bit. Yeah, um, it's interesting. Did you feel sympathy for the character? Uh, once once you get some of the reveal, because I, I I personally didn't I didn't I didn't I didn't know his backstory too much until you get the the the, the recap of his story with uh, with uh, Garrett. But like, uh, did you were you sympathetic to the character or not? Uh, a little bit in that he wanted like to do good. Mm-hmm. And be part of the gang, mm-hmm. um, but but then um, uh, like at the end, I'm like, well, he killed a whole bunch of people. Let him fry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, you, yeah. This it's not even close to being Dexter Morgan. It's just a character that has um, he has some serious issues. Uh, yeah. Like, cause he, I mean, he burned. There's an issue that happened in Canada not too long ago, where, where like, but like with this character too, uh, he burned the, the house down with his brother in it. You know, that gets that gets revealed. Yeah, it's not touched on. So if you don't, if you're not listening to it, you may actually miss it. So it's nothing that's too heavy. But like you, you understand like there's there's a great deal of uh, pain and um, disparity in his childhood that causes a lot of things to go wrong with him as an adult. Like that leads up to his adulthood. Um, so. Uh, you could say he's a victim of circumstances. It's kind of like, uh, well, no, I don't want to get to that, but like it's, he, he's a victim of his own um, environment, more or less. Right, yeah. Um, okay, but anyways, going to ha- happier thoughts. It's my favorite episode is still Tracks, without a doubt. But like I thought, this this final few episodes, I give this like a high, like an eight and a half mm. out of ten uh, for yeah. me. I'm giving it like an eight point five. I really liked it. <laughs> Well, thanks, Evie. Well, that concludes our show. Uh, we ask if you hit subscribe down below. Uh, we have a little bell that means that's a notification. If you hit that, uh, you'll get an alert of when our next uh, show will be up. We usually come up every Friday at noon, uh, but if you want to get an alert, that was the best way to do it. Uh, we're also asking you to hit thumbs up or, and hit subscribe down below for sure. Uh, hit four or five stars. Uh, give, us your, give us a little comment if you like. Uh, but also, if you want, if you want to contribute more, free of charge that we don't we're not looking for tips or donations this is just or we're looking for you to maybe get involved with our show a little bit more we're going to be reviewing season one of daredevil on october uh, 2nd uh, we ask if you want to send us an email of your thoughts of season one of daredevil the netflix uh season one uh we'll, we'll, we'll be reading them out uh on that day uh on so again it'll be all so be, send it to us before October 2nd for sure, and we'll be reading it out on the audio portion of the podcast. So you have about a week left or two weeks left before we do that. Uh, so keep them coming. Uh, we really appreciate it. And uh, we'll be doing, a, I, think episode, I think on January 1st, we'll be reviewing Age of Ultron. And then on the 15th, we'll be, review, we'll be, we'll be reviewing Ant-Man, and then followed by Season 1 of Jessica Jones. Uh, so what we're doing is, initially, we'll be reviewing each season of the Marvel Netflixes or of the Marvel Netflixes shows, as well as doing Phase Three uh, reviews. So that's going to be starting uh, as the year of next. We'll be starting that in 2021. Uh, we're asking you to send them out. Send us your emails, either a paragraph or a sentence. Either one is great. Uh, just your little thoughts. Uh, we'll be reading them out on our audio portion of the podcast, and we welcome your input. And we'll definitely definitely acknowledge you on the show. Uh, just get, you know, tell us who you are. And where you're from? That's it. Uh, like this is this is Steve from Johannesburg. That'd be great because we don't have anyone from from South Africa, or Dale from Perth, Australia. But don't say this is Dieter from the backyard. That's, that doesn't really help us out. The idea is to get the community of the uh, Pantheon uh, family, or the community of, that is the Pantheon of those who love films, to help us join and get uh, more in-depth discussion 
of the films that we all love. And in this case, it's the MCU. Uh, whether it's on Netflix or it's on the big screen, we welcome your thoughts. And uh, it's not just my voice or Evie's voice. It's because it's sort of because we're sort of limited. Uh, we want to hear your thoughts and your ideas. And if you didn't like uh, Iron Fist or if you didn't like Defenders, give us your negative comments. Negative comments. You know, say why why it was so bad. And we love the, we welcome that. It kind of gives us more in-depth discussion and just gives us more something to talk about so we love movies and it's all from the a place of uh, love so we welcome that so on that note uh we'll talk to you next week on behalf of evie and myself take care <laughs>